Hello everyone and welcome to this Video Sound Frontier video. My name is Jay Wakefield and today I'm going to talk to you about a version of Windows that is quite special. Now, before I do that, I want to actually uh, talk a bit about Windows XP. Windows XP has actually been around since 2001 and back in that time you could run it on pretty much anything from a Pentium 233 upwards, although I would have never recommended even running XPRTM on that configuration. Its minimum system requirements were a Pentium 2 233 MHz with 64 megs of RAM and I would say probably at least 929 megs of hard disk space, and that was a very minimum. And, um, of course, over time, XP grew exponentially, what with all the service packs and updates and what have you. Uh, certainly, Service Pack 2 kind of brought it uh, brought about with it uh, quite a lot of bloatiness for the operating system. And Service Pack 3, well, that just made it uh, really very bloaty. And then, of course, Windows Vista came out in 2007 uh, to the public. It RTM'd in 2006, but the public got it in 2007. And Windows 7 came out in October 2009, and that has since been superseded by Windows 8 from October 2012, and Windows 8.1 from 2013. However, there's still a lot of computers that run XP, and the problem with a lot of these machines is that they are not powerful enough to run Windows Vista 7 or 8. In fact, Microsoft themselves admit that very few XP machines will actually run Windows 8.1, which is really quite sad. It means that there's a lot of XP machines out there that, in my opinion, are still extremely useful that, you know, when April the 8th happens, it, on April the 8th, Microsoft actually going to be stopping support for Windows XP. You probably may be aware of this. There's going to be a lot of systems that are c going to be unsecured. And while most people may have upgraded or may be planning to upgrade, there's a lot of people who still can't afford to even own a computer. And there's going to be a lot of Windows XP machines just going to waste. These machines could be done up and could live on for quite some time. So it is quite a shame what's going to happen. You know, there's... Um, Loads of people need computers, and there's loads of computers needing people. But the two aren't going to be able to be united, because they're going to be running a version of Windows that's unsupported. But Jay, I hear you cry. What about Linux? Linux is a better operating system anyway, and more secure, and should actually run. Well, believe it or not, the later versions of Ubuntu will not run very well on older XP machines. Now, Lubuntu, that should run perfectly fine. I mean, I've had Lubuntu on this Dell Latitude D510 here. But a lot of people don't really know Linux that well. You know, and for a lot of people who would be, uh, you know, just needing a computer for basic email and word processing or web browsing, you know, it's not really going to be the best solution. So, what happened? So, what can be done? Well, unfortunately, the bad news is not a right lot. However, if you are an MSDN subscriber, you can get access to a version of Windows XP that will actually remain supported up until 2019. Anyone can get a trial version of this. So, I have been looking at this version of Windows, along with uh, my YouTube colleagues, Elmo3 and VWestLife. Um, we're... I've been looking at this version of Windows, which is called Windows P 
POS Ready 2009. Now, some of you might be thinking, well, what's POS? Well, POS is um, an acronym for, well, something quite, you know, offensive. Certainly something that, um, you know, if I'd have actually said uh, the full phrase, you know, if I'd have uttered the full phrase during my childhood, I would have been punished because um, it's... um, POS usually stands for a piece of shit. However, and uh, kids do not repeat that because um, you will be in trouble from your parents. In this po- in this case, though, POS actually stands for point of sale. Point of sale is uh, a point of sale is basically, in layman's terms, a checkout. You know, it's um, a cash. You know, advanced cash registers usually run um, a version of Windows, usually based on PC architecture. And it's um, and this version of Windows XP is designed to run on these point-of-sale terminals as they do not require much power. Neat idea. But if you have the trial edition of the CD, you can actually install it on anything. I've went ahead and installed it on my Dell Latitude D510. So let's power up and see what's what. So as you can see, it uh, it looks like Windows XP when it's starting up because that is basically underneath all the trappings and the fact that you've got um, five extra years of support. Windows XP, Windows POS Ready 2009 is basically Windows XP. And it's not just Windows XP for five years more. This is something kind of special. Because while it is Windows XP, what Microsoft have done is to cut it right down. So it will actually run Windows XP a lot better. It it actually runs a lot better than regular XP does. Quite neat, is that? Now, if you just give me a moment, I'm just going to type in my password. And now we're actually in. Now I've actually made it look like Windows XP. You can do that, but when it um, when you first install it, it looks a wee bit different. And I've installed um, quite a few programs on here just to kind of show you. Although I've not installed any games today, so I can't really show you any of them running. So here it is then, Windows X, Windows pay, uh, Point of Sale Ready 2009. See, another thing about Windows XP is because it has grown exponentially, we're actually at the point now where machines that originally shipped with XP can't even run it, thanks to all the updates. It just can't run very quickly at all. It's almost like it's running an operating system that's not good enough for it. You know, and, and then I catch myself thinking, hmm, maybe these systems would be better off with Windows 98 or Windows 2000. And I'm thinking, no, these came with XP. So let's have a look at what I've installed here. Right, well, as you can see, accessories are actually, you know, you can choose not to install them. As with Media Player, I've actually went ahead and installed that. Uh, There's also Audacity on here. I'm not sure that this machine has a working microphone. Actually, no, it doesn't. I remember now, it doesn't. uh, The microphone on here doesn't work. I'm going on about how fast POS Ready 2009 is, but here it's behaving like a total POS now. Why is this doing this? (laughs) Whoops. And now it's going to take a while to start Audacity. And I forgot to install any antivirus software. Well done, just just well done. And um, now it's saying that there's a new system on the network. Very nice. But um, I've went ahead and installed WorkSuite on here. Billy and I were going to coordinate, both install WorkSuite 2005, but I lost my copy of WorkSuite 2005, so here's WorkSuite 2006 instead. 
and there's also Microsoft Word. This does generally run quite a bit faster. I don't know what it's doing today. <clears throat> I don't know what, why this is running quite slow today. Windows Update is actually working now, though, for Windows, uh, for this version of Windows, so that is quite good. There we go. Microsoft Word 2003. Let's actually type something. There we go. And let's start uh, Encarta. Encarta 2006. I remember uh, buying a... Uh, I remember being with um, a woman in 2005 and I bought her this for her Christmas actually. Uh, let's not, uh, internal error reporting, what is this? Don't send. Encarta 2006. Let's search for something. How time elapses. The other day I was looking at Encarta 97. All the time seems to have flown by, doesn't it? Hey, hey, right enough. The time's flown by, right enough. Here we go. So we can actually uh, set the text size, just like you can in regular Windows XP. We can have a look at um, some web links. And because this is Windows POS Ready 2009, I'll be able to take this on the web past April 2008. Oh look, here's a web browser. Google Chrome can be quite slow. I probably should have used Opera Chromium. That is a very fast browser. I mean, seriously fast. In fact, I'll cut the video and I'll download it. First, now I know why the, it was so slow. The page no longer exists. Yay, out of date resources! Hang on, what's, what's going on here? What is this? AOS.avast.com, what is all this about? Well, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm trying, trying, to, trying to record a video here, and, and now Windows Update's wanting more? <sighs> You wretched shirk a day. Okay, so Opera Chromium has now been installed. Extremely fast browser. So let's have a look at some YouTube videos. Let's uh, watch this one. Let's have a look at my latest one. Oh, oh dear. I need to get the flash player.
So I'll do that now. <coughs> Wait a minute. No, I can't do that just yet because it'll try and download Google Chrome and I've already got it. Now. Got to be really careful. A lot of programs now come with installers for other programs and you've got to be careful to uncheck them. So let's install Flash Player. <coughs> I know some things will actually support XP for a wee bit after the uh, cutoff date. But knowing that this is Windows XP, e even though it's got five years more support, I wonder how long... Um, because this is basically essentially Windows XP, I wonder how long after... Uh, the 8th of April, you know, they'll bring out new versions of applications for this platform. You know, I can't imagine it'd be too long due to the fact that, um, you know, point-of-sale terminals really don't require much in the way of software. It's literally usually there just to run a bespoke uh, program that puts transactions through and uh, drivers for uh, your, you know, barcode scanners, things like that. And uh, credit card chip and pen readers. <clears throat> I mean, I can't imagine that Flash would necessarily be needed. Although I could be wrong. I know on the uh, self serve tells you know you may have sometimes some animations and what have you. Okay, let's. Um Let's now see if I can get uh, YouTube to go. Let's see how it runs on here. Quite well, actually. Okay, I don't want to watch that. Running quite smoothly in windowed mode. What if I was really cruel to it? Actually, quite smooth on full screen as well. I'm actually really quite impressed with this. I'm pretty sure it wouldn't run on 720p, but uh, yeah, I'm actually really quite impressed with this. And this is a Pentium M 1.6, 1.7 gigahertz. Well, I'm here to do some video. Well, today, do I have a treat for you? Well, once I put it on and you get to see the state of the screen, you'll probably think I actually don't. And it won't let me uh, view in 720p. Um, just a heads up, keep the seasick pills at the ready. You certainly don't need to for this, machi for this machine. Runs YouTube videos, runs them really quite well. I really quite like it. Not too bad, so this, this will be fine at least for a wee bit for web browsing. Especially with op uh, Opera Chromium. Oprah? Um, talk show host. And I like the speed daily feature. And this brings me on to something. I am aware that Microsoft would rather people stopped using Windows XP, so I don't ever see them making this version of XP available. I wish I had done that, you know, for, uh, you know, back in the day when XP was still around. I wish I'd made a lighter version that consumers could buy. Windows Fundamentals, uh, Windows Legacy PC, fun Windows Fundamentals for Legacy PCs was terrible. You saw me test it out, test it out on my Dell Latitude C500 when I had it. Um, but I mean, this is just amazing, and I know that Elmo3 and V Westlife have tested it out on uh, Compact Desk Pro ENs, and it's run quite well. But on this, it just runs like a pure charm. It really does. But, seriously, I mean, I would like to see, and here's Auto Route 2006, I would really like to see a version of Windows that is just, you know, that will actually run on older hardware, because I'm sorry, it would, I mean, I know the industry wants us to move on, I am aware of that, and I know the industry wants us to keep buying new machines, but old machines still have a use, and certainly... 
for poorer people that can't afford new machines. I mean, let's be honest, we're in a recession right now. Well, we're not in a recession, but the way the UK government acts like it, we still are. You know, and as a result, there's people who are struggling to eat, and yet they are required by law, if they're on Job Seekers Allowance, by law, to go on, well, by their actual Job Seekers contracts, which actually, you know, a contract is a law, you know, it's a lawfully binding contract uh, agreement. But um, <clears throat> they are. You know, the people on job seekers required to be able to go online and search for jobs. And I know you and I know you're crying at me, but Jay, they can go to the library, they can go to the job centre, the computers at the job centre, the computers in the library. Okay, but they're not always available. You know, and what if you know, and there's a lot of people on the workfare scheme that are working long hours and don't tell me they're not because they are. You know, the library's not open at night time, neither is the job centre, you know, once they get home from their unpaid work, you know. So they need computers at home and, you know, to be able to free cycle old XP machines that you might not need anymore, you know, to be able to actually, um, you know, work, you know, do the, look for work, you know, type CVs up, you know, work on your computer skills. It all requires the use of a computer, certainly. And, uh, you know, Windows POS Ready 2009 or something similar could help extend the life of older computers and it could actually you know offer a cheaper route for people to actually get into computing because it's just a crying shame that you're going to get a lot of computers going to waste and a lot of people who need computers still needing computers so that is you know and uh, yes I know Luke Miller will be cr will be sit shouting at his computer screen but don't be such a liberal Jay but I am a I am a liberal, I am a liberal, and you know this is why. <laughs> so naturally, I found a a way to be liberal with POS Ready two thousand and nine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, it just wouldn't be me, would it? Now, um, now for a cup of tea. <laughs> but yeah, I mean that that is uh, my two cents about Windows POS Ready two thousand and nine. I just hope that in time some someone will actually start distributing it to members of the general public. While I don't see that this could happen, in other ways, I think it actually, I think someone might actually do that. Because it's a very useful version of Windows, and it's basically, um, it kind of reminds me of Lamborghinis. You know, they'll, they'll make the best version of a particular car before they move on to the next one. Like, you know, Richard, uh, you know, Richard Hammond said of the Lamborghini Murcielago SV, it seems like they wanted it to come alive before it, before they uh, killed it, you know, before it died. And I kind of think that that's kind of the way with Windows XP, Windows POS Ready 2009. It is the best version, in my opinion, it is the best version of Windows XP that there is. You know, it's compatible. It's lightweight, you can install what you want, only what you want, and it'll run on pretty much, you know, anything. Well, within reason, I mean, I'm not expecting, you know, to run it on a Pentium 2 400, even though it would probably do that, I just wouldn't do it. But, I mean, it'll certainly run on, it'll certainly run quite nicely on anything built within the last 10 years or so. And, um, you know, that's, that's what I really like about it. It's the best version of Windows XP that there actually is. And it's a shame because XP is going to die. Yes, I know I should let go of it, but, you know, older machines just can't do that. Personally, I run Windows 7. You know, and I, I like using Windows 7. But I know of a lot of machines that will still be needing to run XP because they will not run Windows 7 at all. Anyway, that was a wee look at uh, Windows POS Ready 2009. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please feel free to subscribe. If you like what we do, please feel free to like our Facebook page. Thank you for watching. The URLs for, the, uh, for my channel and the Facebook page for my channel will follow. But I hope you'll all join me again for my next video. Thank you for watching.